वेलकम टू यू वंस अगेन इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश आर बी एन बी कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर एंड इन दिस वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ रिटर्न लैंग्वेज दैट इज नोन एज पंक्चुएशन मार्क्स सो माय टुडेज टॉपिक इज पंक्चुएशन मार्क्स एस्पेशली आई विल फोकस ऑन comma and full stop its uses first of all if you watch any video on punctuation mark you will find that 15 to 16 punctuation marks are covered within 7 to 8 minutes and that's why it takes confusion to us or we never learn the punctuation mark properly so the aim of this video is to introduce you the importance of punctuation marks in the while using the language especially written the written language then what are the uses of full stop or what are the use and what are the uses of comma so first of all now uh, let's know why the punctuation marks are very um, uh, very important so when we study the about the uses of these two punctuation marks we'll get number of things first of all the punctuation marks play a very vital role in the uh, written communication so in the oral communication we have stress we have uh, intonation mark but in the written communication the punctuation marks plays the role of intonation it avoids the confusion of the reader as well as the writer even also this punctuation mark help us to take breath okay and it uh, signifies that sometime how it is a uh, end of the thought or not so that is why i says that punctuation mark are equivalent to the intonation uh, marks in the spoken communication then the correct use of the punctuation marks that it helps us to wrong use of the uh, uh to uh, to avoid the wrong use of the punctuation mark so here i have given you certain examples which uh makes you clarify how the punctu to study the punctuation mark are essential see the first sentence i have written i made here a table suppose this is table a this is table b the same sentences are i have given but only i change the punctuation mark and when i change when i shift the punctuation mark the meaning become change so let's how to see one by one first sentence is let's let's uh, let's eat mom no punctuation mark is used while in the second sentence let's eat comma mom so we when we add or remove a uh, uh, comma the how the meaning become change when we say let's eat mom means here mom is the food and let us have to eat mom okay why when we put comma let's eat mom that means the speaker says to mom his or her mom now let's eat so this is the difference we see in the second se sentence suppose a husband says to his wife a lover says to his beloved i'm sorry i love you so no comma is put, put here only the full stop is given at the end of the sentence while in the second sentence in the second table we say i'm sorry semicolon i love you so here the two feelings are clear cut we see these two feelings in the first sentence i'm so i'm sorry i love you that means i'm repented 
okay and when i say i'm sorry semicolon i love you here the speaker asks apology that he committed certain mistakes and he uh, says sorry to her okay in the third sentence you see man eating fish and here man eating fish a hyphen is given between the two words man and eating when we say man eating fish means man is eating at, at the meal at the dinner at the lunch whatever it may be man is eating fish but when we give space uh, hyphen between the two words man eating fish that means that fish eats man okay just like a uh, certain wild animals they eat human flesh like like this man eating fish means the fish who eats man so completely meaning become changed in the next sentence uh, a woman colon without her man comma is nothing why in the, the same sentence even when i uh, shift the comma how the meaning is changed a woman colon without uh, without her man is nothing now you will get the clear cut difference so i underline the word a woman is defined here without her man means the importance is given to man without her man is nothing means she is nothing without her man she is nothing but when i shift the comma a woman without her man is nothing okay so here the superiority is given to woman the stress is given to woman okay means uh, man is nothing without woman while in the first sentence woman is nothing uh, in absence of man so we see the meaning is changed in the last sentence for example our college has a girls hostel so here apostrophe is given before yes and in the second sentence the apostrophe is given after s means the punctuation i shift the punctuation mark but the meaning become changed how it is changed you see when we say our college has girls hostel that means the hostel is made of one girl okay and when i shift the apostrophe after s and when i say our college has girls hostel that means the hostel is made of girls number of girls here the hostel is for one girl and here the hostel is for number of girls or we can say many girls i would like to give you one more exam example when we say when i say while dad was eating while dad was eating the dog comma while dad was eating the dog comma the cat and the horse tried to steal his meal means the meaning is changed when i say while dad was eating the dog means dad is it dad was eating what not food he was eating dog but if i change if i shift the comma how the meaning meaning become changed while dad was eating comma the dog comma the horse tried to steal his meal means while father or dad was eating the horse and the uh, um, dog or cat they are stealing his food means the, and in the first sentence the do, uh, the dog becomes the food of father so such is we can say importance of uh, uh, punctuation marks in the written communication so when we use the proper uh, punctuation mark it gives meaning to the words it uh, uh, gives us time to breathe it due to uh, due to the we can say uh, using the proper punctuation mark 
the your conversation your written communication has a melody or we can say rhythm of speaking while we talk we can take a pause but when we write the proper meaning should be uh, conveyed and it should be conveyed to the uh, punctuation mark when i when i say okay, he is going to america is he going to america so the surprise question mark is he is going to sur america that means i am surprised but in the oral communication we can use intonation stress to express our feelings but in the written communication the role of stress and intonation played by the punctuation marks so uh, so far as any language is concerned in any languages there are punctuation marks and some are some are used to take pause while some are used to indicate the meaning of the words meaning of the sentence we say so we are already familiar with uh, uh, some of the uh, punctuation marks for example full stop uh, colon semicolon um, question mark inverted comma single inverted comma double inverted comma dash hyphen slash question mark etc so uh, uh, the major majority type of time if you read any text you will find that half of the uh, half of the time the full stop is used so my two, uh, so we learn full stop at first so far as full stop is concerned it is in british english we called it full stop while in american english the uh, full stop how it indicates it is just like a dot okay but in american english full stop is called period okay p e r i o d period so don't bother about the names only the name is different different the function remains the same so the first use we are going to learn the first use of full stop and generally the full stop is given at the end of a declarative sentence or declarative statement so as you are already familiar with the terms that uh, the sentences are of different uh, different uh, types just like we have interrogative sentences then imperative sentences exclamatory sentences affirmative sentences the uh, uh, positive statements uh, sentences negative sentences etc so i'm not going to the, uh, in detail because i i'm i'm going to or we are going to learn about the types of the sentences in the uh, another, another video so at the the first use of the period or the full stop is at the end of declarative sentence that sentence declares something it is known as declarative sentence for example the chalk is white so it declares this statement at the end of this statement the full stop should be given the uh, declarative sentence may be uh, we can say um, negative or maybe affirmative etc okay may be positive may be negative for example this is a blue shirt or it is not a red shirt okay so may be positive may be negative but at the end of this declarative sentence the full stop should be uh, given for example my name is ajay and i am a doctor or her name is smita and she is a teacher okay so uh, this full stop in the declarative sentence the declarative sentence may be a simple sentence may be compound sentence or may be complex sentence but at the end of it the full stop is given then the second use of uh, full stop or the period is at the end of imperative sentence what is this imperative sentence it is just like a command for example leave the class please put up the light please come on 
प्लीज डोंट डिस्टर्ब सो इट इज रिक्वेस्ट पोलाइट रिक्वेस्ट मीस इट इज नॉट कमांड एक्चुअली इट इज अ पोलाइट रिक्वेस्ट एंड एट द एंड ऑफ इट वी हा द फुल स्टॉप इज गिवन द थर्ड यूज ऑफ फुल स्टॉप इज एट द एंड ऑफ द कमांड मीन्स इन द इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस फुल स्टॉप इज गिवन एट द सेम टाइम एट द एंड ऑफ कमांड द फुल स्टॉप इज ऑल्सो गिवन For example, I wonder. Uh, sorry, uh, put off the light or look at me. Don't disturb. Shut up. Don't disturb the class. Okay. Uh, so all of these are the commands. And in the imperative sentence, uh, we we see please leave the class or please put off the light like this. So this is the difference between command and imperative sentences. And at the end of it. when we say put up the lights here at the end full stop is given but no subject is described okay and uh, it is expected that you is there when i say put up the light means you put up the light when we say uh, don't disturb it means you don't disturb so it is expected so we have seen the three uses of the full stop that is at the end of declarative sentences at the end, uh, end of imperative sentences and at the end of commands or uh, uh, commands now the next use of full stop are any uh, are uh, um, co uh, um, period is that it is given after initials you you know what is initial the first letter for example for example p b shelley is a romantic poet here p means prissy b means bice prissy bice uh, shelley or we say he is stud student of r b n b college so r b n b are the initial letters of the full name rao bahadur narayan rao borauke okay rao bahadur narayan rao borauke and we makes it short we take the initial letters the first letters and we put full stop so before initials the full stop or dot is given then the next use of full stop is at the end of indirect question this question may be direct or may be indirect when i say i wondered why she bunked the class question mark is not given because it is indirect question that i wondered why she uh, bunked the class or we say he asked me why i missed the show we say wh word is used but no question mark is given or they really don't know how they should study due to this pandemic situation it creates problems with the stu students and so uh, sometime we say they really don't know uh, how they should uh, study properly so here again instead of question mark the full stop is given so this is also one of the important use of full stop then the next use of full stop that it is usually a give with the uh, uh, um, full stop is used with the websites names of the or titles of the websites and emails for example to follow english text click http uh, colon or uh, slash orient black swan dot com etc so here full stop dot what this dot dot is nothing else but the full stop or i can say you can follow me uh, at r b a r a t at the rate uh, gmail dot com com again dot is there and this dot is nothing but a full stop so this is also one of the important uh, use of full stop then the next use of full stop when you open your english textbook after figures the chapter number or the lesson number the full stop when the figure is used the full stop is given 
for example the uh, one dot and then write the name of the poem for example red red rose or five red red rose means after figure full stop is used or the dot is used so this is also one of the important use of uh, this uh, full stop the next use of full stop that full stop is used with crisp words expressing complete thought what is this crisp word for example a word or a group of two to three words but it plays a role of a full sentence when we say goodbye we have to put full stop so goodbye is itself these, these are the crisp words it creates a complete sentence okay or sometimes we say stop listen hello hurry up come on be fast so these are the crisp words and after them full stop is used so this is also one of the important use of full stop then the next use of full stop that a full stop is used after abbreviations so what are these abbreviations when i say uh, for example for example uh, prof uh, professor s s devkar okay here s dot s dot professor s s devkar is h dot o dot d dot english dip of english department d p t full stop so these are the abbreviations p r o f dot it means professor h dot o dot d dot means head of the department okay e n g dot here it is e n g stands for english department so uh, uh, we say that this is also uh, important use of um, full stop okay when we say he he is transferred in rb and b college okay he is transferred in rb and b college on j u l full stop 90 uh, uh, 20 uh, 2019 okay or 2019 here when i say j u l full stop it means july a u g full stop it means august and these are the abbreviations or that is i dot e dot it is that is or e dot g dot it means for example so here dot is used or full stop is used the next important uh, use of the uh, full stop is that full stop are used with acronyms so sometime we uh, make a confusion between the abbreviation and uh, um, acronyms what actually acronyms is acronyms is a uh, uh, are the initial letters of words and they are pronounced as a word for here full stop is used for example kalpana chawla joined nasa so n a s a so it has a separate meaning it is abbreviated but no full stop is used some sometime no which are the popular, uh, popular acronyms no full stop is used we say so we have to keep in mind that on famous acronyms we should not use full stop n dot a dot s dot a dot no or nato for example north atlantic treaty organization for example uh, such and such country is a member of nato 
so n dot a dot t dot o dot should not be written instead of it you simply write n a t o because it is famous acronyms or another examples of famous acronyms, uh, acronyms are who w h o because it creates sense and w h o who stands for world health organization okay for uh, for example us president decides to uh, ban w h o or who here who means uh, world health organization okay or we have another examples just like radar or bhel or aids these are the examples of uh, uh, we can say acronyms the next use of here in acronyms full stop is not given then full stop uh, is uh, in a well known we can say well known abbreviation also full stop is not given uh, i would like to give you examples for example sunil usually watches bbc news so no full stop is given because bbc stands for british broadcasting corporation and it is a famous one or we say well known one and on such occasion the full stop is not given when i say uh, my pc is not functioning properly or smoothly so pc uh, when you um, uh, search it on internet you will get the different meanings or the full form of pc for example when i say my pc uh it is not functioning properly or smoothly here pc means personal computer but when i say that that soldier is awarded with ac uh, sorry pc that brave soldier was awarded with pc here pc means paramvir chakra okay so the it depends on the context of the sentence what the context of the sentence is and we have to uh, take the meaning meaning of it when you search on internet you will get the number of acronyms the number of abbreviations which are used in our day to days life so i uh, hope that you like this video and you are but uh, quite familiar with my term when the full stop is used and when it is not used i'm going to recap it that is the full stop is used with the declarative sentences the imperative sentences at the end of the command at the after initials at the indirect question the name of websites and email addresses the full stop is used with the crisp words expressing complete thought they are also used with the abbreviations etc so these are the important uses of full stop i hope you like this video and you would not commit uh, any kind of mistake while using the full stop in the next video we are going to uh, know about the other punctuation marks thank you to spare time with me